Hi there, welcome back. Now, I'm regularly recommending to clients to start a podcast for all kinds of amazing reasons, which you'll find in a different video. But today I want to focus on how we can eliminate one of the most common costs in high quality podcast production, and that's the recording of interviews. Most of the tools that would allow you to record high quality video and audio podcasts come with a monthly subscription. And for some of my clients, especially my group coaching clients, cutting costs and eliminating costs is a large priority for them. So today I want to introduce you to a tool that will allow you to record high quality audio and video podcasts for free. So welcome to Waveroom. Waveroom is completely free to use. It's really good. Um, I'm very impressed with it. There are many paid tools that will allow you to do the same job, but Waveroom is completely free. There are a few limitations, but frankly, it's pretty good and pretty compelling. And if they were to charge for it, I would not be surprised if I would pay for it. Um, so what's included? It's really audio and video recording remotely. Um, it's specifically designed for recording podcasts. Um, you can see they're going to add a couple of features like some editing and some gap removal, which will make it a pretty convincing tool for podcasters. Um, so let's get into it. I'm not going to dwell too much on what's coming or the features and benefits. The only thing I would say is one restriction is your recordings are only stored for 90 days. You need to download them and store them locally at some point. And the recording limit is two hours, which is more than enough for pretty much any interview. So the getting started, it's as simple as add a name and a password. I use Google. I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in using Google. There we go. So I'm in. You can see I have a room here. If you have different podcasts, you can have different branded rooms. I don't really understand what the function of this is, but this is my room. I have some test recordings here that I've done, but I'm just going to jump straight into a new recording. Now here you can see it's picked up my camera and I can change the camera that it uses. I can change the microphone, make sure it's using the right one. There we go. And then if I'm wearing headphones or if I have special speakers, I can choose them here. And then I can go into the room and we can prepare to record. Now, if I wanted to invite a guest, I can copy this link I can send it to them on Facebook or LinkedIn or send them an email with this link in. The one limitation that I notice compared to some paid tools is that there's no built-in scheduler, so you can't pre-arrange to have a guest meet you in here at a certain time. It really is you come first, send them the link and they join. Honestly, I'm never well enough organized um, to do that in advance much anyway. So if I had scheduled a guest, uh, sent them the link, they would arrive in here in exactly the same way as me. We could chat, get to know each other, and when I'm ready to record, I hit record. Now, because it's just me, I'm taking the whole window, but if it was both of us, you'd see us side by side at this point. It's recording away. You can see on the right-hand side, it says uploading. Now, it's important to understand that in all professional podcast editing tools, you record locally through the browser, which is difficult to understand, but then the browser tool is uploading the video in the background to the server for storage. Um, that does mean that if you're on a slow connection, when you stop, you need to keep an eye on that and make sure that both of you hit 100% before you, before you actually leave the room. I'll explain what I mean there. So I'm going to stop the recording now. And you can see it still says uploading. So I don't want to hit this X button, which will leave the room until this upload hits 100%. Um, for me, I know, for example, if I plug in an Ethernet cable, my internet connection will be blisteringly fast, but I'm on Wi-Fi. So there we are, nearly 100%. The longer your interview, the longer that's likely to take. But it's a standard limitation with remote recordings. So then, now I'm fully recorded fully uploaded, I can now leave the room. And here we have my new recording. Now you can preview that, see what it looks like. Me, I'm taking the whole window. It looks really high quality, very happy with that. So I'm gonna close it. Now, 
I can download it. And I can download the video and the audio as a single file, which is very handy if you don't want to do any editing afterwards. Or I can download individual audio files for each participant and individual video files for each participant, which is very handy if you have an editor or if you want to do any meaningful editing yourself. And that's pretty much it. It's very, very easy to use, very bare bones. Um, there's very little that you can get wrong and it's completely free. So that's it. That's Wave Room. I mean, there are many tools you can use to record a podcast, but very few of them are as simple and affordable as Wave Room. I'd love to know what you use if you have another tool that's as good as Wave Room. I love new tools, so if there's tools I don't know about, please just send me a message. That's it for this week. If you did enjoy the show, don't forget there is also the Building Your Leader Brand podcast. Just search Bob Gentle or Building Your Leader Brand in any podcast player. Um, and I would love to see you there. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.